Hey, hey developers, today we're gonna add authentication and authorization to our app in less than 10 minutes. Then we're gonna look at account settings, which allows us to delete users and update users' passwords. And it just all fits together in our Amplify system. And as always, if you find this helpful, make sure you share this with other people. And yeah, let's just dive into the code. So to begin, as always, we're gonna be using AWS for our Amplify backend system. So Amplify is a set of tools that make it really easy for mobile and front end developers to create full stack websites. And then you're also gonna to need to have Node.js installed and then Amplify CLI. Now Amplify CLI, I just did a video on getting started with it. If you're interested, I'll put a link here for you to begin. Okay, so to start here, I have my IDE open and we're gonna use the Amplify CLI CLI and to install that it's I'm npii at aws amplify cli g and then I ran amplify configure and now I went ahead and created an app this is a react app I did npx create react app and then I followed the prompts so now I have an, a react app here so to start with I'm gonna run amplify init and this is gonna ask me a few questions about my app I'm just gonna leave it all the defaults for now and hit y for yes and this will go ahead and create some provisioning for our Amplify account that we're gonna use for this app. Okay, so it successfully provisioned our backend to start with, but we really wanna do is add in auth. Amplify add auth, and we'll just do a default configuration and we'll use email. And then we can go ahead and push it. And it's gonna ask us one more question to make sure that we really wanna do it. We're gonna hit Y here. And then this is gonna go ahead and add in a backend system using Cognito which will be able to do our authorization and authentication. Okay, so great, we have our backend provision with Cognito. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the folder. Okay, so you can see here, here is the folder open up in VS Code in the source folder. You'll see I have this new file called AWS Exports, and this is a file that was generated by Amplify, which I'm gonna be able to use that connects to all my backend resources. So I just need to install a couple more libraries inside here. So I'm gonna do npm i AWS Amplify and AWS Amplify UI React, and this will just take a moment. If I was in view, I do AWS Amplify slash UI view, but since I'm in React, I'll do UI React. Okay, great, it installed the libraries we need. So now we should be able to go into the code here. So I'm gonna go to the app. I'm gonna go start with the index.tsx file. I'm gonna import in Amplify from AWS Amplify, and I'm gonna import in that AWS exports file. So we're gonna call it, I don't know, AWS exports from AWS exports. And then we'll do amplify.configure to the AWS exports file. And this kind of connects everything up for that. Now inside my app TSX file, uh, this file uh, is where I'm going to have my authenticator. And we'll just assume that this is going to be, the whole app is gonna be wrapped in the authenticator, meaning that you can only access any of the routes if you're authenticated. So I'm gonna just delete all of this and I'll just put an h1 hello world just to make sure it works. And I'm gonna import in the authenticator from AWS Amplify UI React. And then also I'm gonna import in the styles too. So it's gonna be AWS Amplify React styles.css. That way you have some styles. And so there's the two ways we can do this. We can just put the authenticator on this page, but there's actually another uh, really helpful component that we have called with authenticator. And so I'm gonna use that instead to cater. And it's just gonna wrap this app right here. We're gonna see if this works. So I'm gonna npm run start. And we're gonna open this up on port 3000. All right, cool. So you can see here we have the authenticator. We know it looks right. We should be able to start using it. Uh, now another thing I kind of want to do uh, before we dive into this is we want a, a way for people to log out after they log in. So what I can do, I'm gonna go back to this index.tsx file and I'm go I am gonna import in this authenticator. We'll import it in from here. AWS Amplify UI React. And then right right here, we're gonna add in a provider, authenticator.provider. And what this is gonna do is gonna allow us, you'll have to surround your whole app with this, but it allows us to access this hook, which we can then use to do logouts. So uh, I'm going to uh, use this use authenticator, use authenticator. After someone's logged in, I want them to be able to log out. So I'm going to grab user, well, just do sign out equals from use authenticator. And then in here, you have to add in a context. This is kind of a different syntax, but you could see in our documentation, which I'll link below, this is how you do it. You can do context.signout. And then from here, we'll add in 
we do have a whole UI components library in this UI rack. So I'm gonna add in a button. And in this button will be uh, sign out. And then we'll just do an on click, which will go to this sign out. Okay, so if we did this right, it should work. So we'll go back to our app here, just refresh. I'm gonna create a new account and I'm gonna log in. It's gonna ask me my special code, which uh, on my other page here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab. I'm gonna copy it and confirm it. Cool, so I'm logged in here. I'll say not now here. So hello world, cool. So now I'm logged in uh, and it's working as I expected. And I hit sign out, it signs it out. So now let's say you're a an user and you need to change your password. So if you're not logged in, that's pretty easy. If you're using the authenticator, you can use forgot your password here and you can put it in. And by the way, there is an underlying JavaScript library to all of this. So if you didn't want to use our authenticator here and you wanted to completely customize it, which by the way, you can customize this a lot. There's a lot of different design tokens, CSS elements that you can override, but you, there is an underlying JavaScript library that you can use to run these commands and create a, a fully functional uh, site as well. But if you're logged in, it's a little bit more difficult. So I'll show you what we can do here. So after you log in, we're gonna use one of our new, and I'll show you here in the documentation, it's called our account settings feature for Amplify. And it allows you to like kind of manage your account. And the first two things we added to it, and we're adding more, is change password. So let's add in this change password. So right under this, we're gonna just add this in and we need to import it in. So we're gonna add in account comma here, account settings. And then we have this handle success. So we can just kind of copy and paste this just to see how it works. But this will give us a message anytime this account settings happens. So let's, let's say we wanna change our password. So we went ahead and added that in there. I'm gonna log in again with that old account I had. Log in. And cool, you can see right here, I have this current password, new password, confirmed password. Obviously, uh, this is not looking great, but you can change the look and feel of it. You can completely override it. But let's see if it works. I'm gonna put in my current password. I'm gonna put a new password. You can see already it has, if you come to come over here, you have this button here to, you can see the password that you put in. I just put some dummy password. I can make sure I put in, put in again. And now click update password. I got the payer, payer password successfully changed because this alert did it. And now if I sign out and sign back in, I'm gonna put that new password in. I'm gonna actually look at it, one, one, sign in. Cool, you can see it's working as expected and it works great, that's awesome. Uh, there's other, a few other things you can do with this change password too. I can add in some custom validation. So if there's a certain, I don't want certain letters or I wanna change the error message, I can do that through here, which is really nice. I could change the max length. Let me show you delete user as well. So this is another really handy one. And I'm just going to comment this out, add this in for delete user. It's gonna go to this handle success. And we'll just change this alert message to has been successfully deleted. You can see here it also has some overriding default behavior. If you wanna do something before the handle delete happens, you can uh, add it in here you can actually completely customize the button and component as well. And you can do that too with the change password. But let's just see if this works first. So let's see if we can delete our user. So now if I click delete user, it's gonna give me a confirmation that my account is not reversible. And once again, you can completely customize this. I'm gonna click delete account. It says my account is successfully deleted. And now if I try to log in again, it says user doesn't exist. So awesome. So now we've been able to delete users. We've been able to change the passwords. And what's really nice too, we can completely, like I said before, completely override the look and feel of our component. So if we needed to, we can change exactly what it looks like. Let, let's try to do that for this uh, delete account. So if we wanted to create a components uh, object here, so I'm gonna create some called components. And then inside the components here, I'm gonna return it, but I'm gonna pass in components as a prop. I'm gonna add this in here. So it should have this new My Custom button. I'm gonna create an account real quickly. Okay, so you can see I created an account, I logged in, now I have this new custom button. So if I click this, it still goes to the same delete screen we had before, which is really, really neat. So you can see here, account settings, very useful component, especially if you're using the Amplify component system. Let me know what your thoughts are below. Tell me what other things that you'd be interested to, for us to create. I'd be really interested. Thanks.